All right, so we got the training tires here. Uh, head coach, Julie Jenkins, Henry Tuggle, and Maggie Linker. Uh, coach, first, obviously a tough loss. Just get your thoughts. It was an epic match, uh, and obviously a tough one to lose. But give me your thoughts on the match, first of all. Well, I want to congratulate Pacific Lutheran on a on a great season and a great start to the NCAA tournament. Um, I thought I thought that they. Uh, you know, played uh, amazing defense. A lot, even though the box score shows they only had X number of blocks, I think we had six to their four. They had a lot of touches on every swing. And um, I thought that they, um, they really played a, a terrific uh, defensive match. And then, you know, the middle Harris, 20 kills. And you're still committing on her and she's getting 20 kills. Hats off to her, but she played a phenomenal match. Despite the good defense for Pacific Blizzard, you guys did seem to have a, uh, a pretty strong attack. You had 256 as a team. You had four different individuals in double digits with kills and a, and a couple over uh, 300 up into 500, including Maggie, who hit uh, 556 of the match. Just take me through uh, the attack today and what you, what you were saying throughout the match. Yeah, I mean the difference in the in the match was obviously the reception errors. It was our eleven to their two. If you take the reception errors out of it, we were in system the majority of the time. It passed really well, and um, so that was the frustrating part of it that we gave up so many points off of off of serve receive off of reception errors, but. You know, we were in system, and our box score shows it. We had a very balanced offense, double-digit kills from both outsides, double digits uh, from Maggie in the middle, and double digits for Avery on the right side. So I was pleased with the balanced offense and the variety that we were running off of serve-receive. Uh, but if you want to win at this level, um, you've got to have every part of your game on. And uh, I really extremely proud of the effort that our team made. We blocked well, we, we defended well. Uh, our offense was on fire. We just um, unfortunately gave up too many points off of uh, reception errors. Maggie, Avery, just uh, give me your thoughts. I mean, obviously uh, a tough loss, but you guys really thought you guys had some, some, some great sets, both set three and set four, and you guys were uh, exceptional in, uh, in set two. Uh, just, just take me through the match from your eyes and uh, just how it was with your teammates and just the experience with them throughout the, uh, throughout the day. Here, let's start with you. Um, well, I want to start off with like saying that I've never been on a team that had such great chemistry. Um, everybody genu genuinely wanted everyone to do good, whether you were in the same position. And we had so much depth on the team, we could throw out anybody in there and they'd do their best and it would be enough. Um, it was a tough loss, but I mean, we held each other together pretty well, so that it was good. Yeah, um, I mean, like Coach said, these games were really close and we had a lot of things that were clicking really well and a lot of things to be proud of as a team. Um, it's gonna. It comes down to those little things, you know, in a region like that. And I think that it's something that we're gonna learn from and keep growing from. But I'm, like Avery said, incredibly proud. Would not want to fight next to any other girls. Um, and just really happy to see that every single week that we came out here, we kept getting better. And that's something that I don't think I've ever had from another team, just continually um, improving all throughout the year. And um, it's really ex something exciting to be a part of and something to be proud of. Drew, I'll get you out on this. Just uh, put in perspective, you guys uh, have just an incredible season and an incredible group of girls. Just tell me, tell me how proud you are to be able to coach this team and be able to get as far as you did this season and, and just how, how fun it was for you to be with this group. Yeah, you know, it was the toughest schedule, strength of schedule, that we have ever played at Trinity, ever. Every weekend we had, you know, it seemed like a top 10 team every single weekend, whether it was in our conference, whether it was outside of our conference. And, you know, I thought our players just stayed so incredibly focused. And like Maggie mentioned, you know, we really uh, set the bar high and we knew the areas that we needed to work on to keep improving. And as a coach, you know, you're so proud of your players, the commitment that they're making to come out and prove each and every week. So. You know, this really stings um, because I don't believe 
uh, this team peaked yet. I felt like we had more to give um, in our performance each and every weekend. You know, we were having great results, and and then secondly, our conference. You know, this is an historical year to have three teams in the top five nationally for about ten straight weeks, and um, you know, it, it was just amazing volleyball every conference weekend that we played and this team just showed so much fight and like Avery said they always did it in the right way though uh, you know uh, holding each other accountable not not pointing the finger you know it's just a very mature um, team close-knit team that had each other's back always regardless and they did it in this match as well and uh, I'm you know, I feel like it's, it's an honor to coach them, no doubt about it. So Shane gets back here, you're on that standing season. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, you too.